Hey guys, welcome to the SMWC production finale, part 2. Today we're going to wrap the game up, and I'll get my review. So, let's do it. Yeah, I already read that last time, so let's uh, get on with it. Uh, nice try, Bowser. We know that was part of your virtual reality project. Honestly, eggs giving you power to control life and death? Isn't this getting like, just a little ridiculous now? Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Darn it! Ugh. Yes, I admit it. It was all fake. I kidnapped Toesworth so I can create a virtual reality model of him, and then had him join you so I can pretend he died. Looks like we, th like we thwarted your little plan before it can get too serious, huh? Anyway, do you still have the eggs we worked so hard to find, or were they fake too, like plastic? No. They're real. I just use them as part of the plan. They're right here. Score! Wow. Looks like we're going to use the eggs for Peach's Cake after all. Take them. I don't care. Well, we know what to do, Mario. Let's -a go! Alright. Save the game, and now we're gonna walk all the way back to the Mushroom Castle. Yeah, the first time I beat this game, I was confused. I didn't know where to go. Um, it's like, what the heck? Is that the end? But yeah, you actually gotta go back all the way to the beginning of the game. It's pretty nice to take walk down memory lane. All the levels that I beat, all the names of the levels, reminding me of the names of the videos, past videos, and. It's been quite a ride so far. I mean, this, this game was a big ride for me. Really enjoyed it. Had a lot of fun with it, but um, yeah. It's pretty much over now. <laughs> it's another big Mario hack that I've beaten. Another one for my my uh, wall of fame, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Alright. Yeah, this was a pretty good game. And I hear the, the sequel is coming out pretty soon or something. They're working on it or something. So I'll uh, keep my eyes peeled for that. Uh, this is a long game here. It's taking forever to get back. Uh. Uh, come on. It's taking forever. Alright, here we are. I think we're on the, fi the first world now. Yep, here we go. Now this is where I got really confused when I first played the game. Um, I got back to the Mushroom Castle, but I'm like, where do I go? You know, how do I get back- how do I get in the castle? But I didn't realize you can actually just press up and there's Peach's Castle there. Um, because there's no, like, little icon, no little flashing red dot or yellow dot or whatever, so... Just- just anyone who's confused, you can just go there. If you go in here, walk up the peach, and there you go. And for the person I love the most of anyone... Oh, thank you, Mario. You went to all of Bowser's castles and got all the eggs? I can't imagine the trouble you must have gone through to finish this cake. Thank you, thank you so much. You have no idea. <laughs> Yep, that's it. Let the credits roll. And that's SMWC production. That's an SMWC production for you. Beat the game. Done with it. Not gonna do the secret levels or anything. Um, now to get my my short review of the game. And like all my other reviews, they're not much. Not very. Uh, I don't. I don't think of them. In, I don't plan them in advance or anything. I just do it. You know, right off the top of my head. Um. I'll try doing a better um, review than I did with Doom 64, because uh, I actually really like this game. So uh, here goes. Uh, I'm gonna split up into three categories. The first category being um, level design. The second category being uh, difficulty, and the third category being um, replayability. Um, okay. For the for the level design. Gonna give the, gonna give that a, 
an 8 out of 10. I, I say 8 out of 10 because, um, you know, the levels, a lot of the levels were a bit repetitive. You know, just from, go to from the left, go from point A to point B, you know, and it wasn't very much, uh, not a lot of puzzles involved. I mean, most of the puzzles in the game were just piece switch and springboard puzzles, and, and that got, that got, also, that also got repetitive and stuff, uh, but I like it. So, give it an 8 out of 10 for that. Um, the next category, difficulty, give that a, uh, 9 out of 10. I mean, it was pretty a pretty hard game, but it wasn't Kaizo hard. But it wasn't easy either, so, um, I mean, it took me to use save states to win most of the levels. I mean, I could beat, I could probably beat this game without save states, but, um, nah. It'd be pretty annoying and pretty hard, but I probably could do it. And uh, I like how they added a uh, save point after every level of the game. You know, just so you don't get screwed over with the game over, but... And also, I really like how they added the, uh, that little mini game where you, sh where you shot out of the cannon and you get, like, one-up points for making it far. That was, that was very good. And, uh, and actually, I'm gonna add another category. I'm gonna add, um, the, uh, I'm gonna add creativity. Because this game had, I'll give that a 10 out of 10 for creativity. This game was very creative. A lot of work was put into it. So, um, I mean, look at this, this title, look, look at this credits screen right here. Um, like, all that was custom made. Like, they didn't just, you know, rip this from, like, another Mario game. Like, this is actually, these guys actually put all this stuff together. They put the whole, every custom, that's, everything that's custom about this game, these guys, you know, they did it on their own. And, um, I like that. You know, I like custom Mario games. I don't like Mario games that are just like, uh, you know, just change the levels around a little bit. I like things to be custom. That's the kind of hack I want to play. But, um, anyway, yeah, I get that a 10 out of 10 for creativity. Now the fourth and final category, um, the, uh, what was that again? Um, replayability. Yeah. Um, yeah, I give this a 9 out of 10 for replayability. Um, because, I mean, I'm, this is the second time I've gone through the whole game. Um, if, I mean, I freaking LP'd the game, for Christ's sake. I've already beat it. Uh, it's just a really, really nice game. Um, I mean, it's basically, I would, I would call this game the sequel to Super Mario World. Even though Yoshi's Island is considered the sequel, but, I mean, if they ever made another Super Mario World, like the original, this would be the, i choose this to be the, the, se the, the rightful sequel to it. But, um, it's a really good game. Um, and now, I'm gonna give it a final score here, um, for all the categories combined, give it a 9 out of 10. This is a great game, a lot of fun, I mean, just, now that, just mention it again, I just didn't like the repetitive piece switch puzzles and springboard stuff, you know, you gotta, um, to get the springboard, you gotta get the piece switch, to get the piece switch, you gotta get the springboard, etc, etc, the silver piece switch, blah blah blah. I mean, there's a lot of that. That was most of the puzzles in the game. Like they, I kind of wish they would create like a different kind of puzzle, make a different kind of like. I, I wish they would they would have implemented like a new piece switch or something, something like that. Like a, like just something a different kind of puzzle. Because all the Mario games have the same puzzle. Like all the, all the Super Mario World hacks, they have the same puzzles. Like you know, get the piece switch, you know, or. But I mean, I'm not saying that that was all the puzzles. I'm just saying like most of the puzzles was just piece switch. But I'll show up about that now. And uh, yeah, great game. I wouldn't mind playing it again someday, and I really look forward to this uh, rumored sequel. But anyway, I'm gonna speed the credits up a bit. And if, extra now, if you want to read the names of the people who made the hack, look down below because those are the usernames and the the websites, the forums. Uh, um, SMWC dot net, I think. I haven't gone on that website in a while. But yeah, all these people, uh, they're the people that worked on the game. I mean, I heard they. Uh, they took submissions for levels, so a lot of people that do their own Mario hacks they submit levels to the to the to this hack here, and, uh, and that's that's why it was so good, you know, because they got everyone from the community to you know chip in. But anyway, that's the end. Got the cake, and it's all good. Everyone's happy. The end. But I hope you enjoyed this uh, Mario hack, this let's play of let's this let's play of an SMWC production. Uh, when we come back, I will have my brand new main LP. And I'm not going to reveal it yet, but stay tuned. And I don't know if I'm going to do another Mario hack along with my main LP, but um, I'll let you know my new updates coming out tomorrow.
with all that said, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time!